CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Australia trained in windy conditions at Newlands before the decider begins on Saturday. Weather and the pitch will determine the makeup of the final 11, according to Michael Clark. Just got out of a car, I uh, haven't seen the wicket and I haven't spoken to the selectors, so I'll see obviously John and Darren down here once we start training. The match looms as the litmus test for this Australian side and the gravity of the match isn't lost on Clark. Oh look, it's a, a really important test match and a very special one for us as well. We, we achieved everything we wanted through the Australian summer back in Australia um, and I've made it clear that you know, our greatest challenge is having success away from home. We haven't done that for a long period of time. So um, even to sit in the position we are right now, I think is a really satisfying feeling for this group, knowing that we've been able to, um, you know, we're one all going into the third test against the number one team in the world in their own backyard. I think that's a, a fantastic achievement from this group. But um, we didn't come in to lose, that's for sure. Um, and we've got an opportunity to win the series, which would be... <laughs> which would be a great way to, um, to finish our summer, that's for sure. We get a bit of a break from test cricket after this, after this test match and um, we'll be leaving nothing in the tank. On David Warner's recent indiscretion, Clark says the ICC have dealt with the issue but supports his players through thick and thin. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the David Warner comments. The, it's been dealt with, the ICC have dealt with that. We've dealt with that in-house. Um, now it's about playing cricket. Um, once we step onto that field, I'll back my teammates 100%. Um, Davey's no different. I support him. He's a, he's a tough bugger, there's no doubt about it, and he'll love the, the challenge he faces when he walks out into that ground. I've, I've read and heard a number of the South Africans say they're going to... Um, or how disappointed they were with him, and um, I think he's assuming he's going to cop a bit of stick on the field, but that's no different. You know, he's copped it his whole career, and he, he actually enjoys that. But in saying that, I've also made very clear... Uh, to David how disappointed I um, was and am with, with his comments um, and at the appropriate time I'll certainly um, catch up with Graham and, and make it very clear to him how I feel about it. But right now our focus is beating this South African side, um, the number one team in the world in their own backyard in this last test match. So every single one of the players that takes the field for the Australian cricket team will have my 100% support. The dry looking Cape Town wicket seems conducive to reverse swing and Clark knows Australia need to counter it for the team's and his own sake. Yeah, look, we've, we've all faced reverse swing before. Um, our bowlers are, are, have been very good at executing um, and getting the ball to reverse. So didn't happen last game, but if that comes up again and if we get some sunshine and the wicket's suited to that, um, we'll maximise the conditions. My first job as captain of this Australian cricket team is to make sure I'm scoring runs. You know, that's first and foremost. You picked the Australian way is you're picked in the team on performance, first and foremost. Um, and then they select the captain of the team. So for me, I want to make sure I'm scoring runs. For all your news, scores and video on Australia's tour of South Africa, stay logged on to cricket.com.au.